Welcome to our final Composers Concert of the Year. All the music in this concert has been written by our students from years 9 to 13, and in particular this is an opportunity for our senior students who are leaving us to hear their most recent pieces performed. We would normally have been in Stoller Hall with our annual end-of-year concert, including plenty of large-scale orchestral and choral pieces by our composers as the culmination of an intensive three days of rehearsals. However, equally rewarding, has been putting together a concert of new music online, where each performer has sent in their own parts recorded at home, using a click track to keep themselves together. Particularly challenging, as several of the pieces you will hear require their musicians to interact in some way with each other, taking cues and following leads. So the pieces you will hear are all very different. Most have been completed during the strictest period of lockdown. If you enjoy this, please do also listen to our recent Lunchtime Composers concert and also to Beat the Curve, a collaborative composition written by our senior composers for Symphony Orchestra and Chorus that was performed in the recent Cheatham's Summer Concert. We do hope you enjoy today's performance. Hello, my name is Jamie Brown. I'm going to play a little short piece that I made a few weeks ago called Summer Prelude. What inspired this piece was, I just looked outside one day, it was really nice, pleasant, sunny weather, and a few of my neighbours were outside just relaxing in the sunshine, and I just decided to do a bit of an improvisation based on what was going on outside. And in 20 minutes I just made this little piece. So, I hope you enjoy the summer prelude to the summer concert. These four inventions for piano follow on in a long line of two-part invention writing, dating of course back to Bach. Inspired by the piano inventions of Ligeti and American musicologist James Tenney, these four short compositions aim to explore the possibilities of counterpoint and harmony whilst employing just two notes at any given point. The second movement in particular is inspired by the practice of species counterpoint, the study of harmony at its most basic level, just one note against another.
Hello. I would like to present my piece called The Summer Solstice. It is a suite based on melodies of folk songs from my home country, Lithuania. I chose this title because the summer solstice is one of the most important festivals in Lithuanian folklore. It is a time of magic and the celebration of the old gods. I hope you enjoy. The next piece is the first movement of my five movements uh, for string quartet which I wrote this year. Um, each movement is based around a painting um, in a series by my mum and this first movement is based off this painting behind me. Um, the, the music itself is, it, it's got some aleatoric sections and a dance-like theme which I use to contrast itself. But the, the movement itself I called fragments because most of the material I use in the other movements 
as a sort of basis for the ideas. Um, but I'd really like to thank the players for uh, taking the time to learn and record this contemporary work for me. This piece is called Large Still Life on a Pedestal Table, and I based it on one of Picasso's abstract paintings.
At an Arcadia Ego for soprano, clarinet, violin, cello and harpsichord, though here performed on a wonderfully out of tune piano, is a semi-graphic score inspired by the famous paintings of idyllic Arcadian life by 17th century artists Poussin and Giochino. The piece also features fragments of poetry by Felicia Hemans, also on the theme of Arcadia, Death and Paradise.
My name is Joy Hardy and I'm in my final year at Chitty. The piece you are hearing today is a setting of Psalm 84. The psalm begins with the line, How lovely is your dwelling place, and gives the impression of a longing for closeness and intimacy with the Lord Almighty. This longing goes further than the place in which God lives, onto a yearning for the presence of the living God. I try to demonstrate this longing through combining a sense of both a tranquil beauty and a delicate tension through methods such as the piece's rich harmonies, rhythmic variation and a wandering tonality. I'm absolutely delighted that this piece could be performed today and I want to thank everybody who made it possible.